Click the link in the description to go to aoa.com, the best place to buy Skull and Bones Silver Cheap. Use code DTG for 3% off at checkout. Hello and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Skull and Bones, and we're going to be going through all of the basic outfits that you can uh, either purchase from the store, from the helm, or whatnot, uh, in Skull and Bones, and ranking them based on how good or how bad they look. There are 20 of them, uh, the basic outfits, and we're going to be, you know, like I said, ranking them. It's going to be all based on appearance, because none of these provide any perks or anything like that quantifiable so this will be very subjective so if you disagree and you really like a set that i rank really low or you dislike a set that i rank rather high let me know down in the comment section personally i find that mixing and matching is the best way to go sometimes you'll have an outfit there that uh has a lot of really good items but then one thing that you don't like or something that could be done better from another outfit a great example is the one i'm wearing right now it's mostly one set but i've made a couple small changes and i think it looks better because of it so with all that being said we're not going to be doing that today it will just be the outfits as they are designed all together. So let's uh, dive on in and start off with number 20. And so before we get in, one smaller or one more small note, this is obviously just all on the male model. Maybe some of these outfits look drastically different on the female model being worse or better. I can't say. I'm only ranking them based on what I can see, which is the male model. Uh, so let's just start off at number 20. At number 20, we have the Kaya Raya set. This one is by far the worst one in the game, in my opinion. Now that being said, you know, I've used the necklace on this for different outfits, I guess. Uh, there's there's nothing else in this outfit that I find particularly salvageable. I think it looks rather bad. Now, mind you, if you're role-playing as an Eastern pirate or whatnot and you want to be rather fancy, this is probably good for that. It just definitely doesn't fit my sense of pirate style. So it ranks very low for me, being the worst one, in my opinion, out of all of the uh, different cosmetic sets that you can buy from the store. So yes, the Kyaraya set takes the number 20 spot. And number two, we've got the Untamed Fury set. This one's another one that, you know, maybe this fits your specific aesthetic, but but none of it fits mine. It, it looks like trash. We've got these weird wrapped sandals, patched baggy pants, a uh, rope belt, uh, some sticks tied to his arm, a ragged bone looking necklace, and some sort of a weird cringe lordy mask. I like none of it. I like none of these items. None of them are, are salvageable. Again, maybe the neckwear for some other outfit might look fine on it. Uh, in fact, I could even see that, but uh, just the whole rest of it all looks like crap. I don't like it at all. It's a bad outfit. Don't recommend it, and I've never seen anyone wearing it in the game, so I feel like I'm not the only one that feels this way. So that's number 19. Number 18, we have the Indigo Glory set. Uh, again, nothing particularly great about this one. Uh, only thing that I kind of like is the belt, because it has a pistol on it. Uh, I don't hate the boots per se, and the eye patch I guess is fine, it just looks like a normal eye patch. The coat's really ugly and it suffers from one of the worst flaws in this game, which is that we're wearing this big thick coat without a shirt underneath, which always bothers me. The hat's a big old floppy goofy looking hat that doesn't look particularly good with any outfit. Uh, big saggy pants, some rings I guess are unobtrusive. Altogether I don't love it. Like I said, the only thing that stands out as something that I will use in other outfits is the belt because it has a pistol on it, so it helps give that extra piratey vibe, so uh, don't quite I don't particularly like the Indigo Glory set, and so that's why it takes the 18 spot. Number 17, we have its next door neighbor, the Blockade Runner. Now this one I almost like. Uh, it's almost all right. Uh, so you can see there's nothing particularly special about this. It is piratey. I, it has that going for it. So there's a shirt underneath the jacket, but for some reason, again, it goes all the way down to the waist being open. If that was even closed halfway up, I'd probably like this outfit more. Uh, it's got the pistol, which I like. It clips through the jacket, which I don't like. Uh, and then we have just a plain rope belt. I would say if this outfit had the shirt either all the way up or at least halfway up so it's covering more of the torso and had a belt that wasn't as janky looking as just a rope and it didn't clip through the jacket, I would probably like this one a lot because it's very piratey. It's got themes kind of similar to even a Jack Sparrow type outfit. So like some of it's there, but altogether as it is, not great. And that's why the uh, Blockade Runner set is number 17. Similarly, at number 16, we have the Sanguine set. This is another one that's kind of the same thing. It's not, it, it's close. If it had a shirt underneath the jacket, I'd probably like it more. That being said, it's still kind of weird. It is piratey. It's got like medals pinned on it and there's an eye patch and you know all that sort of stuff. It's got elements there that I don't absolutely despise I guess but uh, none of it's all that particularly good looking. It's got a lot of red going for it so I feel like some people will like it but I'm not one of them. Number 15 we have the Rempa Raider set and now this one is I guess we're maybe getting into the category of it's fine but I don't really care for it. 
So this one at least looks like a full outfit. It's got a lot of elements going on. We got rope across the chest. We have the head wrap, which is, it's a good piratey touch that I like. It's got great big earrings, which look kind of silly, but again, fit for the cultural vibe. The belt is all right. It's got like a knife looking thing hanging off it as well as some other stuff. Uh, it's not terrible. Uh, again, don't love it. That's why it rates so particularly low. I don't ever see myself wanting to wear this and I've never seen another pl uh, player wear it, but I could use various items from this outfit to make other outfits. So it's all right, but uh, not great. So it's at number 15. Number 14, we have the Iron Reaver set. This one's another one that it's fine. Like I've, I've utilized some aspects of this, particularly the belt, because it's got the little ax in it, which is pretty cool. But uh, it's not something I could see a captain wearing. That's the thing is when I'm dressing up my character, he's a captain. This is more suitable for someone just serving serving on the ship, maybe at a low level fighting position or something. It looks weird for a captain to wear it. Uh, that being said, it does look kind of cool and it's very unique. So I do like it a little bit, but uh, not a lot. So yeah, that's the Rempa Raider set or the Iron Reaver set at number 14. Number 13, we have the Mariner set or Mariner set. This one just reminds me of Mr. Smee from uh, Peter Pan. So it's it's very basic piratey. So again, uh, I have no particular problems with this one as an outfit for a pirate. I just don't think it looks good for a captain. So that's why that one takes the number 13 spot. At number 12, we have the Predator Prey set. Here's one that it's got elements that I don't hate, but altogether it looks kind of silly. I like the alligator looking boots and belt. Those are pretty cool. The coat is fine. It would be cool if it had a shirt underneath, but it doesn't. And so therefore I don't love it. The pants are fine. I got no problem with them. Gloves are fine. Hat's fine. Altogether it's, uh, you know, I mean the hat, I don't really care for. It's a little bit too small, but uh, you know, this one's got elements that I use in other outfits, but altogether don't love it. Uh, most of it comes down to the fact that I just, I hate the jackets without shirts underneath them. That, and I don't like the hat for this one. I, I don't ever see myself wearing that hat with any outfit I'm building, so. The Predator Prey set, oh, and it's brought down by the fact that you have to buy it with pieces of eight, so this isn't one that you can just buy with silver. It's one that you have to grind out pieces of eight to get, so it ranks lower because of all of that. Number 11, we have the Abyssal Raider set. Again, this is another one that's just brought down by the fact that it doesn't have a shirt, uh, because I like all the items individually. The eye patch is cool. It's got a cool, like, steering wheel medallion that I've used in outfits. The jacket the jacket itself is alright, but it looks stupid without a shirt. The belt is just kind of a rope, but it has a knife, so that's always cool. And the pants and boots are quite nice. They're green and they, they look piratey and they're clean enough and uniform enough that I could see myself using them in many outfits. Uh, so again, there's items here that I like, but it's brought down by the total sum, especially the jacket without a shirt. And number 10, we have Pinky's Revenge set. This one, not a lot of complaints about. It's just a little goofy looking. It's hard for me to picture a pirate wearing this. I could see some sort of a shopkeeper or, I don't know, wealthy fop around the time kind of wearing it. So maybe if you're playing as a weirdly eccentric pirate who likes to pretend he's fancy, but is still a pirate, then I guess it makes sense. Uh, only reason it ranks highly for me is because it all matches. It all looks good. None of it's patched or badly fitting or anything like that. There's actually a shirt underneath the jacket. Uh, so, you know, it's not my personal style, but objectively speaking, it's a decent enough outfit. Number nine, we have the Saber Rattler set. Another one that falls under the it's a shame category because altogether it's a decent looking outfit. Only thing that brings it down is the fact that it doesn't have a shirt. It looks stupid to have a pirate wearing a military dress jacket without anything underneath it. it that design element has ruined a lot of outfits in this game, and it's it's a perfect example here, because it looks kind of like a what a, you know, British redcoat naval officer would be wearing, which, you know, not typically red, usually blue uh, or white. But that being said, uh, it looks similar enough to that, and it's even got the fancy hat and all that sort of stuff going on. But without the shirt, it just looks stupid. So that's the Saber Rattler set. And number eight, we have the Captain Mustard set. Same type of thing. It looks pretty cool. I like the overall vibe of it. It's got all the coordinating stuff. Looks rather fancy, in fact, with the white and gold accents. Definitely would be one of the fancier outfits in the game. It's got a rate low because there's no shirt, you know? I, I could have probably split this into two categories. Outfits that I find acceptable as is because they have a shirt. And episodes, uh, episodes, uh, outfits that do not because of exactly the opposite. But again, it would look pretty cool and I could see myself using it or whatever if it had a shirt. Otherwise, I'm just stuck using some of the outfit aspects like the belt or something like that that looks decent enough and will fit with other outfits. And the last of the three carbon copies for that sort of situation is at number seven. We have the Shadow Seeker set. I've wore a lot of aspects of this one because I like the color green and I like the overall kind of pseudo military naval vibe of it. Uh, I don't like that it doesn't have a shirt. That's the only complaint I have about this outfit because the whole rest of this outfit I quite like and I think it all looks good together. If it had a shirt, boom, instant, one of my favorite outfits in the game. Uh, as it is, it can't be any higher than number seven for me. Number six, we have 
the Savvy Captain set. I actually quite like this one. The only part of this one that I don't much care for is the hat. I think it looks a little small given how big and frockish, I don't know what word to use, but kind of fancy and fluffy the rest of the uniform look. It's very fancy. It looks like it would be rather comfortable. It's made out of premium looking materials, you know, for the time. Uh, and it makes you look like this sort of sophisticated gentleman. The only thing about this one that I don't much care for is the hat. It looks goofy. Uh, but other than that, pretty solid set. And I've seen quite a few people wearing this one, so I don't think too many people will disagree that it does look quite good. And number five, we have one that is unique and rough looking, but I actually quite like it. And it's the East Indies Brigand set. Now this one, it's definitely one of the most unique out of the game. It's got the, the rice picker hat and all the, you know, the everything else that it's very Eastern pirate themed. And for that, I think it fits very, very well. Again, hard to believe that it's something a captain would be wearing, but it does look cool enough for me to rank it high enough in the list. I've wore this one quite a bit. And it looks silly having my, you know, pale guy with red hair wearing it, but it is pretty cool. So the only thing that would improve this one is if the belt had some sort of a sword or a saber or something on it. Then I would really buy it. Then this would be, you know, excellent bomb diggity. As it is, it's pretty good. Uh, but yeah, that is the East Indies Brigand set. And number four, we have the Trickster set. This is one that works both as it is and also a lot of the items on here are good for other outfits. I particularly like the belt. It has the two pistols on it. That is very cool and is an excellent uniform elephant element for other outfits. Uh, other than that, like I said, it looks all good together. The purple and green reminds me of the Joker and maybe that's what they were going for with the whole trickster thing. Uh, it's fine. I don't, I definitely think that it's a full and complete outfit and it's something that is believable for both a pirate and a captain. So it hits all of the requirements that I need to consider it to be pretty good. Uh, now, if I'm putting it together, I probably swap out the shoes for boots so you don't have the britches look. And uh, that's probably it. You know, maybe a different neckwear or maybe an eye patch or something like that. But honestly, it's a solid enough uniform, which makes sense why I rated it so highly. So that's number four. And number three, we have the Caliban set. Yet another one that requires pieces of eight. And I know I haven't been pointing that out every time that we've gotten to one, but you can actually see the symbol on the uniforms for whether or not you need to buy them with pieces of eight. Uh, anyway, this one I quite like. It actually reminds me of uh, the bad guy from Pirates of the Caribbean 5. Kind of looks like his uniforms, so sort of a Spanish pirate hunter vibe to it. Very fancy. White and black is always a good color combination in my opinion. I like this one. Uh, only thing it doesn't have is some sort of a weapon, so I'd, I'd like to see a sword or some pistols or something like that on the belt, but this is very believable for a pirate. You know, obviously a wealthy pirate, so I think this is a great one for a kingpin. Uh, and it's also believable for a captain. This doesn't look like something that some sort of a Joe Schmo schmuck would be wearing. It feels like you would have to have some wealth and prestige to be wearing something like this. Now, obviously, in a situation where you're on fire, tar, blood, and mud, and shit, and stuff all the time, maybe white's not the best color, but that just feeds into the prestige of it. So, I like the Caliban set. It's quite nice, and that's why it takes the number three spot. And number two, we have the Carmine Lord set, and now just off the bat, the mask is stupid, and there's no way I would ever wear the mask with this outfit i'd either pop some probably just an eye patch or something because i like the eye patches uh but other than that love it looks great the hat is fantastic love the big feather sticking out of the top of it uh the dark red of the jacket and the boots matching together with like the vest underneath a full shirt uh a decent enough belt good looking pants everything the whole thing looks very very solid love this outfit like i said obviously take the mask off and then i'd probably swap out the belt for something with a weapon but other than that i love the carmine lord set one of my favorites in the game. That's why it takes the number two spot. And then the number one should have been obvious. I've been wearing it for a while in my videos, the Prospero set. Now this one is it's the best as far as one solid outfit goes. It's obviously very fancy. It's piratey to start with, so it does look like something that you'd see in the pirate age. It doesn't look like something that any schmuck could wear. It looks like something that you'd see on a pirate lord or, a, you know, a kingpin or or at, at the very least some sort of a captain. Uh, the hat is a little wonky, so you probably saw at the beginning of the video, I've swapped the hat out to wear a tricorn instead. Uh, I don't, I was wearing this hat for a while, but I don't love how wiggly it is, so it, for me, I like the way the tricorn looks better with it. But everything else about this outfit, I really like. I love the belt. It's got that super unique and fancy looking flintlock pistol in the belt. I love all the, the silver accents on the black. I love that it's got that little neck ruffle thing, which is fun. Uh, I love the that there's actually a shirt underneath the jacket. The boots and the gloves match everything. It's all embroidered. It looks excellent. So the Prospero set is, in my opinion, the best 
set currently in the game, at least as far as the ones that you can buy from a store. Uh, now this one does cost sovereigns to buy, which is why I have purchased this and I haven't purchased all of the pieces of eight ones. I have a bunch of stuff that I want to purchase with the pieces of eight, like weapon schematics and, you know, all that jazz. Uh, and I'm not going to buy any of the clothing or, or ship cosmetic items that cost pieces of eight until I have all of the useful stuff. But with the sovereigns, there's not nearly as many things that you can buy, at least currently in the game. And so the first thing that I bought once I had enough of them was this full outfit. So I love it. And I think it's personally out of all the ones in here, the best one. So that's it. That's all my rambling thoughts about the outfits. I had some people asking for more cosmetic, I guess, reviews or whatnot after I did those first couple videos. And so I figured I would go ahead and do that with some more of the outfits. Like I said, I think personally, all of these outfits can be improved by just swapping a couple items here and there. And then you come up with just generally better outfits. Uh, but as they sit as full sets, that's my ranking. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was at least a little bit entertaining or maybe even useful. But that's all for today. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.